Hi everybody, and welcome to the first episode of my little Let's Play series of Chef, a Restaurant Tycoon game. I'm Icon, and we're going to have some fun alongside the series with this new game, which is all about getting a restaurant going and uh, cooking, which uh, happens to be a very uh, passionate topic of my own in my private life. And uh, yeah, let's get started. I started here with the uh, um, town screen because we're going to have to find a decision where we're going to uh, start off. So I wanted to talk about all these things because uh, I think it's a very, very good start to begin with, especially if you're um, wondering if this game is for you or if you're new to this game or if you just want to have some fun with it because you're playing it yourself and want to watch some other people playing it. All right, so this is your town screen where we can now decide where we want to have our restaurant and uh, you see here there are lots of uh, different uh, areas that are available to us which are giving us different uh, mix-ups of possible customers there's also uh here uh different layouts for the restaurants so um wow we have here stealthy insects and rat infestations certainly don't want to start here so i felt like we want to since i'm also pretty new to this game i want to do some uh some restaurant which is uh going good with the uh lower class families and uh, just a just a simple and happy place in a in a suburbs district. How about that? Or close to a suburbs district? I haven't decided that yet. So uh, residential districts are having a high amount of lower class families. Let's do that. But maybe not the one with the street gangs. How about this? Isolated. It's quite isolated and hard to find. Um, no thanks. And uh, here we have old wiring close to the center so this one would be uh having a medium kitchen and a small hall that's not really a good combo what do we have here traffic area so more people and uh it's pretty costy but isn't that a wonderful combo yeah we get a medium kitchen and a large hall wonderful we're going to start here so uh weekly rent will be 1500 oh no thanks that's uh now i looked at the numbers so uh when you're new to this game, these numbers are uh, not looking not mm, are looking quite harmless, but uh, they are really high. So uh, this is looking like a good starter. We're going to start this here. This is only seven hundred and fifty bucks. It has a lots of uh, has lots and lots of potential and no downsides to it, and it fits to my uh, scheme apart from that and uh, let's get in the new restaurant and uh, here we go and if you want to help me out in the series leave a like on the video and if you want to help me out as a content creator leave a subscription on the channel they mean so much you can't imagine how much and uh, you can turn on their uh, the notifications if you want to and the most important thing to me is, is though let's get cooking so uh, we have here uh, lots and lots and lots and lots of uh, different things that want to be done so first off we we need some staff for our uh, restaurant I'm going to hire some waiters let's start with two of them and let's see if this will be enough and we also need to uh, decide what kind of uh, restaurant we want to have so um, let's take a look at this place well, that's looking not too bad, is it? Let's start with the furnishing. I'm going to start with the walls and floors. So, uh, since we want to be family friendly, maybe uh, some bamboo parquet, something like that. Is that family friendly? I don't know. Concrete floors, embroidered moquette. Can't really decide. That looks gross. Nah, I really like this uh, simple bamboo parquet. Let's uh, take one of those and. Uh, we're going to have some of that for the kitchen. We're going to get the uh, hall walls. Well, maybe something like that. Well, let's uh, let's get to go with the greens. So at the beginning of the game, you really don't have too many uh, customization options. So uh, we we have to deal with only one. No, no, there's a little bit more. Two styles of walls for the kitchen. So I'm going to apply the same-ish thing here, but I mean these things are purely uh, for my own feeling of aesthetics. So that's uh, looking a lot nicer, isn't it? All right, so let's get started with the furnish. I'm going to start with the uh, kitchen things because uh, 
that's where we want to start. So a counter is for preparation things and uh, we won't be uh, able to do anything without that. So right click to uh, rotate that things. So I want to have the counter somewhere here. Oh, that was a, uh, oh gosh. So that was already very, very bad of mine, but luckily we can uh, rotate these things. So the green uh, square here is uh, showing the area of uh, usage there. So I want to definitely an oven. Without um, an oven, you can't do some dishes, which are obviously requiring an oven. So I'm going to go for the oven with 10 cooking slots here as well. And then the other things, well, a fryer, a grill. Yeah, well, we want a grill. Who doesn't want a grill? Come on. Um, can we put in the... Oh, yeah, does fit in here too. So now we got the grill and uh, a steamer. Well, I'm not too... Uh, but I think um, I definitely want a fryer in here too, a deep fryer. So that wouldn't fit in here, no. Okay, so we're going to put the deep fryer in there. These are all rather costly investments to begin with. This here are complete money, but they are so much worth it. All right, so let's uh, drop down some tables. Um, let's check. These are tables for four. Since I plan to be a uh, family style restaurant, we are going to need tables for four people a lot. So probably stick close to the colors uh, which we have here. So some sort of green. The green square on these tables is, by the way, the slot where your waiters will uh, head to to take the orders of that table. So we've got five tables now. I'm going to expand that a little bit with a few uh, two-person tables. So like for people who like some more privacy back there. But I don't want to uh, get into many uh, things here. So ambience modern, ambience rustic, rustic. So let's check out if I already know anything about my uh, customers here. Um, here, stats. So let's check out the low budget families. So not all families are willing to spend a lot. And uh, okay, so here's no um, closer information for me to know which kind of decoration they want. Okay. Oh, we need a we need a name. So Icons Eatery. Let's call it like that. All right. So seems like we're uh, open with the decorations to what we are what we want to do. Um, I think I'm going to stick with a rustic uh, ambience to begin with. So. A cutlery clock okay why not the ambience is very very important for your uh, for your customers to to identify your uh, restaurant so we're going to put down a few more room decorations now which are also considered rustic oh there's also elegant stuff oh there's a small sideboard yeah why not let's put that down here and as you see, the uh, points are racking up here. So, there we go. Just want to make sure that this place looks a little bit nice. I mean, if you just uh, want to min-max on that, you could just... Uh, it doesn't matter how you're uh, um, using these items, so... If it was uh, just for the game, you could just uh, drop the uh, items somewhere and uh, be good with it. So there goes the square carpet. I would love to put that in front of the door, but uh, somehow I'm not allowed to. All right, so uh, I say that's uh, enough. Let's get over to the uh, ingredients panel because I have uh, 10 points of ingredients to spend. So this uh, means Wherever I have a star, these are ingredients I can work with. Wherever I have no star, I can't work with these ingredients. I get stars by uh, cooking meals with these tags, and uh, I get skill points by satisfying customers, but that's later down the road. So um, when we're looking at the uh, 
in at the menu right now I have a few things available which are all made out of the unlocked uh, recipe out, out of the unlocked um, ingredients and the unlocked uh, recipe recipe categories that I have as chef myself so to make any use out of all these informations we're going to go into the stats panel and check out our uh, favorite um, people here so low budget families they love to eat meat and carbs the cheapskates love carbs too and the blue collars love carbs too so blue collars are basically your lower class worker types so we're able to satisfy th these three people uh, these types of ca uh, customers i'm not too happy with this kind of customers but whatever so that means we're stocking up on carbs alcohol and meat that's what we're going to do so first off we're going to see here is the uh, leveling area here you can level your uh, personnel or your uh, your chef that's yourself so we're going to bring up new meat recipes I got meat stew and I got grilled meat so we're going to go for some roasted meat and uh, some meatballs because who doesn't love meatballs and these are uh, like uh, meals which I can prepare so let's uh, research Naki. Nah, lasagna. Lasagna is something everybody in the lower class loves. So now we're going to get over to the ingredients panel and check out what kind of things could we need. Tomato, that's good. Tomato is definitely something we need in the lasagna. I haven't found out yet what the uh, star ratings bring you once you have more stars in that, but we're certain to find that out along the road. So uh, let's get over to the carbs section. I'm going to unlock noodles, that's for sure. And uh, at the meats, we're going to unlock some ham and, uh, let's see, sausage, why not? Duck, it's also not bad. And uh, what do we say? What do we say? We said uh, alcohol. So we need some more beer, that's for sure. And uh, we don't really need any other uh, me, uh, other uh, veggie things like that so we're going to go for meat and let's see maybe I'm going to try out what happens when I put another uh, star into the pasta so we're going to see what that does it does cost two points so and uh, I like to uh, top things off with a little bit of uh, spices because spices increase the quality of your recipes by a lot and uh, if you don't know what that means, you're going to know in a minute. So we're, I'm unlocking some paprika. I'm going to go for some cumin and uh, maybe some oregano. Why not? All right, there we go. That's uh, all our points already unlocked. I could also train my waiters. So uh, let's see. Basic speaking skills. These are all the skills you need for uh, making your... Uh, um, restaurant work better but right now I, I don't want to dive into that too deep because I have no clue what I really want to do with these people so decisions available um, I don't want to uh, do that right now we're now doing the uh, the menu so I'll start out on the menu with uh, the recipes which I have here to begin with I'm going to create my own recipes along the way but uh, for now we're not going to do that so uh, ambient rating is too low for lower class um, families all right so maybe we got to invest a little bit more here into the ambience rating so uh, may maybe a second chalkboard and uh, Maybe some point paintings. These are all modern or elegant. Well, not exactly my uh, kind of uh, clientele. So uh, let's put a uh, small sideboard below that, or or maybe two. No. Nah. So uh, don't worry about that. Those laughing children, they're having fun. All right. So. Uh, Simple plants. Let's drop down a few more of those just to make this place a little bit more lively. So let's go for that. So let's see if uh, 20 points will be sufficient to. So, ah, here you go. Ambience Rustic 10. 
So, uh, let's see if I am able to lure them in here. I don't quite understand why they're unhappy with it, though. But, okay. Let's see. Maybe uh, it doesn't work because the game is paused, because I don't have anything on the menu. Let's not break our noggin too hard on that, though. So, uh, I'll try and uh, bring up all the meals which are uh, having the right tags first. So, uh, fried rice with prawns is having at least the carb tag. Butter pasta, let's start with all the uh, things that are having at least partially right tags. So, fettuccine have at least the carbs tag. There goes that one. And, uh, yeah. So uh, we're going to add those things right away here. And uh, there we go. Well, not too many things are really up the plate here to satisfy the needs of the people here. So the prices to begin with are absolutely uh, disgustingly uh, too low. I mean, you can click here and see how much the raw ingredients will cost you. And uh, to begin with, the, reci the recipes are always just uh, scaled um, to give you the money um, which they cost. So uh, in a realistic environment, you would uh, say triple the amount of what you um, what the stuff costs to have a quite realistic uh, calculation. So uh, the butter pasta is uh, heavily overpriced here under these circumstances. Let's see if the people take that. All right, so uh, we have a few things on our meal. So let's uh, see if I can make the decision to open already. Uh, yeah, we can. Obviously, is that decision already taken? Yeah, okay. So during the tutorial, we had to take that decision, but uh, obviously here not. All right, so you open your first restaurant in the residential district. All right. Achievement unlocked, All right. Um, now let's uh, check out what's happening here. Um. These guys are so still not buying it, but uh, I don't want to overdo it at this point. So let's uh, put some more things on the on the um, menu, and let's see how the people go with the prices. I'm going to put a few things on the menu which are uh, basically not belonging there because I want to have. A few more things on the on the plate at least because it doesn't feel right to me to have no uh, no starters and uh, you know it just doesn't feel right we are a simple restaurant at this point but uh, I think we should have a little bit more than that all right so let's see how uh, how things are working out for us let's turn up the speed and see if people are coming and see what they are having to say. All right, the first family is settling in, and uh, they're cheapskates. The cheapskates are your easiest uh, to satisfy customers. And uh, well, let's see. So our personnel have taken the orders, and uh, now we're preparing the, the food. I really like the detail level of this game, and uh, now we're getting more people here ordering their stuff. Of course, all all just cheapskates, but uh, that's okay. So, the thing here is with this kind of uh, um, menu, though, we won't be winning anything. So, I'm going to uh, sit back and uh, use now the recipe editor, and uh, we're going to make some real, um, some real food now. So, uh, we're going to see if we can whip up some nice lasagna. So, uh, let's call it Icon's House Lasagna. Let's see, maybe it'll be gross. <laughs> All right, so here you see we need to use fresh pasta in average quantity to uh, satisfy the the uh, basic needs of a lasagna. So uh, let's go there and uh, let's use uh, fresh pasta. Boom, done. So uh, up from here, it's all up to me what we're going to do. The game here is very, very cool designed. It actually has these uh, tags to the uh, actual um, ingredients and it does simulate and tries to uh, give you the illusion of a really really uh, 
working recipe. That's really well made, I gotta say. So for lasagna, I can't imagine any lasagna without tomatoes, so we have to put in tomatoes. It's uh, not working without that. And I think uh, we're going to put in some meat, some beef, and uh, let's say some bacon too. And you see here, this is the overall recipe rating. And uh, we're we're seeing here the how the tastes are developing. I'd say uh, you can't um, go for a lasagna without cheese, but uh, somehow the game doesn't approve my idea. Let's see, butter seems to be a good idea, but wow, why does cheese destroy the... Uh... Okay, Parmesan, that's something that definitely uh, belongs there. And you can up the uh, amounts, and as you see here, Upping the amounts is not always uh, doing only something good for the recipe, so that's uh, quite fascinating. Um, cream, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. So uh, let's check out. Oh, spices, of course. Uh, so let's put in some basil, some oregano, and you see here the uh, recipe rating is uh, skyrocketing now with the uh, with the ingredients. Oh well, cumin doesn't uh, doesn't fit too well black pepper and uh, here we go that's already a really nice and well-rounded uh, recipe here so uh, done going to sell that here it features meat and uh, maybe we should uh, bring in some more carbs so uh, well I'm going to use extra pasta it does uh, downgrade the um, quality of the recipe but uh, it's for the people so we're going to save that recipe, and now we're putting it on the menu. So, uh, Icon's House Lasagna. It's uh, having a really hefty price compared to the other menus. So very costly in its, uh, in its basic uh, ingredients, but we're going to put it onto the menu. So let's uh, see how things are going forward. And um, we're going to check out what our first uh, customers have to say about our restaurant. Maybe I'm going to put up a few more tables, but I want to, wanted to check out um, how much uh, workflow we actually got. All right, so let's check out the prices, uh, the, the reviews, because we're going to get reviews quite soon. All right, so let's turn up the speed a little bit more and wait it out. So here go first reviews. So uh, all right, a pinnacle of excellence. Truth to be told, I'm quite satisfied. I expected to pay much more for what I got. All right. So the prices are still pretty low. That's what the people are saying. Okay. And uh, they didn't. They they like the ambience. But I mean, cheapskates are quite easy to satisfy after all. So, uh, but uh, the thing is, the people are considering the menus as. Uh, is very very uh, cheap so let's uh, put up another dollar on all the stuff here because obviously the people are willing to pay way more so uh, ah here we see the uh, the cheapskates are now starting to consider my restaurant as expensive so there we go we get a real we get a real-time uh, feedback on that I see all right so good thing but uh, with this kind of rating, we should be certainly able to uh, expand a little bit and uh, put up a few more tables and such. So uh, let's go. Gotta remember to use the samey colors. All right, so I'm putting them right next to each other. One more uh, row of tables to make sure that we're having some uh, some capacity to work with. Because I feel like uh, this should be okay. And this is your uh, the energy system of your waiters, and uh, you should be avo avoiding to uh, over exhaust your waiters because they uh, they are growing they're growing sad if you do so. <laughs> All right, but uh, we're not getting too many customers to begin with. Well, that's pretty normal because uh, we're not too popular yet. Or popularity is very low, so not too many people know that we're that we actually exist. But at least the people which are coming seem to be quite happy. I think those extra tables were uh, a nonsensical investment. So let's uh, 
cut it back for the time being. So these people are... Oh, so now we're having the evening hours. There's happening more here. All right, so let's uh, check out the recipe editor one more time, and uh, maybe we're going to do some new recipe here. So you see here, I can't do, I can only do uh, the recipes which I've learned here in the bar. So um, that's why it's so important to learn things. I'm try, I want to try to. Uh, Put in more um, recipes into the uh, re into the menu here, which I created myself, because the self-created recipes are way better than the ones uh, provided to you automatically. The game is designed around the fact that you should be uh, doing your own um, recipes, and I really like how the game accomplishes that. And. Uh, during this Let's Play series, I'm going to try and uh, explore this game as good as I can. So let's check out our latest reviews. So... Okay. They can cook stuff, they serve stuff, the place is furnished with stuff. 7 of 10, would someday stuff again, but he was very very unhappy with the prices. So, um, but I don't mind. We gotta earn money some, some way, you know? I'll rather have the peop the cheapskates uh, complain about this place being too costly for their taste. Because, uh, well, that's what cheapskates would say about a proper restaurant, don't you think? So let's check out the latest reviews. So uh, the pricing stars uh, are going further and further down, but that doesn't matter too much. The uh, ratings are between excellent and very good mostly, so we're good. Popularity is increasing constantly, and uh, I mean the uh, if you go for the balance stats right now, it's uh, not really uh, we can't really use these numbers at all. We gotta end this day to see how realistically how uh, if we're earning money realistically or not. So the icons house lasagna was good, so. The only downside was that a human kidney is more affordable than a dinner here. Alright. That's just uh, what these people think. So, uh... The blue colors are uh, not happy because there's uh, not enough choice there. And the lower class families are still having not enough ambience in my uh, in my room here. Ooh, what's, uh, what's that? The service is excellent. We had the most pleasant experience. So we're going to praise the stuff for that. I really like to give these uh, things back to the people who made it happen. Because uh, the bonus would be would have been uh, more usable if I would just uh, taken the other one, but uh, that's what I would do in real life about these situations, honestly. I would just uh, give the com take the compliment and give it to the uh, people who made it happen. All right. So there's another bunch of cheapskates get doing the first orders. I don't want to uh, manage around the restaurant too much right now during the first day because uh, I want to see how things uh, are developing. What the actual... So... Uh... Alright, there's a, a counter outside. I was uh, quite... Uh shocked for a moment because I was afraid that my own counter was uh, placed outside somehow. Alright, so uh, we earned 500 bucks on food, but uh, that wasn't really uh, even paying out the rent, so uh, that's bad, friends. So during the next episode we're going to create more and more profitable meals, because uh, overall I feel like we're earning not enough money. And uh, maybe episode three, we have to restart all again because I did what's uh, because what I did was bollocks. I ha I can't tell yet. But uh, this series is all about discovering the game, so I don't mind at all. So friends, I hope you enjoyed your uh, the run with me, and I hope we're coming. We're going to get together another time. So uh, yeah, people are really hating my prices. So. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so feel free to leave a comment down below. I hope you're able to uh, get back to another episode and uh, drop a 
like on that video if you want to help out or subscribe to the channel if you want to make my day a very very happy one whatever might be the case i wish you a wonderful time thanks again so much for watching and goodbye